Here's a quick video on the upgraded scanning capabilities of the Prime Scan. What I have is a type -odont here that uh, has been around in my office for about 30 years. Has a few gold restorations on it, uh, PFM with a metal lingual. I've got a bridge, I've got an edentulous spot. Some of these areas notoriously are giving us grief with the Omnicam as far as the highly reflective surfaces or something deep. Uh, just difficult scanning. A lot of people got used to keeping some powder around. Uh, to maybe uh, spritz those areas with powder when it was needed. <clears throat> I can tell you that you can just put your powder away or sell it on eBay because you're not going to need any powder when you use the Prime Scan. So let's take a look at this. There's two ways to start the camera. The, if you have it in auto start, it'll just start as soon as you pick up the camera. If you don't like that, you can turn it on and off with the foot pedal. So I will start scanning. Uh, and this is how we do it with our Prime Scan. Start on the lingual. Give ourselves a good lingual scan up to the midline. Uh, and then head on back and try to do the occlusal on the buckle. For the prime scan, it's not necessary to go 90 degrees uh, on the buckle or lingual, more about 40 degrees off the occlusal table seems to do a better job. So basically, just filling in these areas, notice how it's just taking on all of that metal without any type of complication whatsoever. Easily picking up all the metal, the shiny surfaces, the shiny Emacs here in the anterior just picks it right up without any type of issue whatsoever. So here's my model after just a couple seconds of scanning. Let me fill in a couple spots here. And you'll take a look at my model and you'll see that it just did an absolute fantastic job picking up the gold. Uh, no problem, no specs like we're used to seeing there where we have to fill in the spots that aren't uh, getting filled in. Here's the metal lingual of the PFM. Absolutely no problem. Let's say that we're going to prep this tooth uh, so we can take our scan like that and then after we've prepared, uh, prepared the tooth, we simply just take the crown off in this case uh, and without using the cut feature at all, I simply overwrite where the crown was with my prep. Something like this. Basically just overwriting the software where the crown once was, not using the cut tool. Give the computer a chance to render all of that and when it's done, there's the prep rather than where the crown was. Absolutely fantastic the way it overwrites the cut tool uh, is gonna be almost a thing of the past. It's fantastic, it really lends itself to uh, single person scanning uh, without much of an incident. Super easy to use, I think you're gonna like it a lot.